Hello everyone, great to be back here. And the uh, lesson yesterday was super powerful, recognizing the power of looking away and how to work on that, how to take steps towards that. And I hope uh, a lot of you had uh, some success yesterday and today and going forward. So we're gonna, our lesson today is Torah and free choice. So as I always say, I like to get right into the text and elaborate afterwards. And of course, of Rosh Hashanah Rush's book, Garden of Purity. And he gets right in. He says, Rav Natan writes uh, that Amuna is strongly linked with the eyes, right? And for a person with Amuna is like someone who sees Hashem. Let's read it one more time. It says that Amuna is strongly linked with the eyes. For a person with Amuna is like someone who sees Hashem. In other words, his mind's eyes is always directed to Hashem. And in effect, he's looking at Hashem. So King David, he says that, he says this actually in Tehillim, he says, my eyes are always looking at Hashem. He exemplifies the spiritual level that Rav Natan is speaking about. And Rav Natan adds that one free choice depends on the eyes, where a person is free to look at whatever he wants, whatever he wants, right? We have, if you think about that, we have free choice, right? We could look at whatever we want. We were just talking about that yesterday. We either have the choice to look away, we have a choice to look. Uh, and it's very difficult, it's a very difficult challenge. Um, he can look at Hashem or he can look at things that contaminate, uh, sorry, uh, uh, contaminate his mind and soul. The more one guards his eyes from seeing things that he shouldn't, the more he can focus on Hashem. So Renatan teaches us a critically important spiritual principle. And we'll end it off here and we'll elaborate. One's action and behavior in the material world trigger equil equivalent behavior and actions in the spiritual world. For example, the more the person looks at Hashem, the more Hashem looks at that person. In other words, the more Hashem exercises his personal divine providence over that person's life, guarding him over fulfilling his every need. On the other hand, the more the person looks away from Hashem and looks at forbidden images, the less he'll enjoy the benefits of Hashem and divine intervention in his life. That's not very encouraging news, to say the least. So we're pretty, again, it's not, we're not trying to end it off on a bad note and saying, if I don't go to my eyes and Hashem's not with him, of course he's with you. He's always with you. If he wasn't with you, he wouldn't be alive. Hashem's always with you. Keep our heart rate going. He keeps everything going. But he is distance from you. The more you get purity, the more you work on your eyes, the more you work on this area, you'll see Hashem will be a lot a lot more closer to you. You'll start seeing a lot more signs. You'll get more clarity on different things. Again, not everything's easy. It doesn't just, ah, everything goes bye-bye because I'm working in purity. But you do see Hashem a lot more. You have a lot more control in your life. You have a lot more uh, enjoying, enjoy, uh, enjoyable things in your life. And you're just a lot, a lot more happier because you're not controlled of all these klipas, you know? So we always talk about this. The klipas is what brings us down, brings us depression, low energy. When you work on this issue, you'll see a, 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 a so much success and happiness, and you'll connect with people better, your energy will be better, etc. All right guys, have a good day.